Hi friends, welcome to the fifth video in my PHP tutorial. Um, today we're going to do some cool stuff. Um, we're going to show you how the user can input data to your PHP script using a form. So you're probably familiar with forms generally, using them on the websites, they have you know the different kinds of input. We're just going to make a really simple one. Action equals just blank because we want it to action to this page. On the with the form variable, this is HTML, this isn't PHP, but if you're gonna do PHP, forms are an integral part of that, so you need to understand them. Um, action just means where do you want to me to send the information after someone hits submit. So if you want to send it to a different web page, you know, you just type different page.html or .php or whatever. Um, if you want to send it to the same page, you, you can just omit the action tag or, or leave it blank. Um, the next thing you always need to set is method. Um, put, post, and get are the three different kinds. Um, uh, well, I guess I'll show you the difference between get and post. Get and post are the main kinds. Um, with Basically the only difference is get allows you to type variables directly into into uh, the, the URL. So if we did this then that would send that would tell our script var equals string, but only in get. If it's in post, this just gets ignored, because post can only take data from other forms, so it's a little more secure, but if you want the, the flexibility or or cross-site type stuff, um, you know, the question mark, question mark denotes the variable equals the thing, and if you have multiple, then the rest are separated by ands. And if this information isn't used, it just gets thrown away, basically. So, um, uh, so let me just show you real quick before we get into into this how you get the uh, difference between get and post. Um, so the way you get get data, so this would be get, but it wouldn't be post, is to use the variable system variable get. So var and var2 and again these you can use whatever names you want. Um, dollar sign and then you do underscore. See these are the, the special special uh, variables. Um, we're looking at get so get and then we have the, the curly braces again because the get variable is actually an array where the variable name is is um, the key and the value is so you know this would be the key this would be the value so you can remember back to arrays I think that was video two or three um, so var would be get var and just to show you bacon2 would be get var2 and then we can echo both of these So this is how you set, this is how you incorporate the world of outside information into your script. Um, now I don't re recommend making this script and having it because basically you can get anyone who puts anything here will get it to show up on your, your website. So this is very insecure and don't do this normally, always sanitize your input, we'll go over that. But um, just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you this. So var equals string, var2 equals string2. If we change this, then 
our website changes with it. So that's kind of the first cool thing, you know? Um, but the, again, this is very insecure and don't do this. And now this only works for get. Um, you do post the same way. So we'll have this, we'll call this gvar and gbacon for get, and we'll call this pvar and pvacon. Um, so you just use post instead of get. Um, and the post, you know, has to come from a form. It can't just be typed directly into the URL. And so just to make that abundantly clear, we'll set them both just so you can see the difference and you know, because there's nothing getting posted, because it's just going to be gets, these will be blank, these will be fine. Probably figure that out by now. So it's just going to look the same, and the, the post variables are not going to echo anything. So, okay, back to our form. If we use, if you use the method get, then you can do that. Um, it's just going to send this it's going to include this data in there, so the user is going to be able to see that. Um, it can be ugly, it can be insecure, so if you don't want that there, just use the method post. Um, the simplest input type is just a hidden, hidden input. So type um, name is the, the variable name, the key name, um, so we'll call this ID and value is the value of that. So this is a, a simple little form. And, you know, we always need a submit button. We don't need one, but it's pretty complicated to send it without one. And the value of the, you know, the send button is just submit. Um, and the value is just the name of the button, basically. So, um, so when we preview that, it will just look like a submit button. And when we hit submit, it will send it, the action back to the same page with the post variables hidden. Um, Heidi, it'll send that Heidi variable via post. Uh, so let's get ready to receive that. post Heidi and then we'll echo P there. We could just echo this directly but um, you know I don't like doing that so we're not gonna do it. Okay upload this really quick and now you'll see if we try to set Heidi directly doesn't work nothing's gonna happen um, but if we submit it we get the, the valuable because this travels through post not get and as you can see the URL is the same nothing gets added on to the end so it's a little bit cleaner um, so that's how you get information into your form, um, or from a form rather. Uh, the main kind you're probably going to want are text bars. We'll just call this text1, and we'll set the value to blank for now. Um, text area is different for some reason. Name equals a1 so text area and then anything you put here goes in the text area I don't know why it's different it just is um, but there's all kinds of different inputs as you can see there's radio boxes drop downs password all kinds of stuff so um, really just get creative with your 
forms. So this is what this form would look like with text and a text area input. There's our text, there's our text area. Um, and let's echo all of these inputs through the post variable. So this was called text one, and this was called text area, a one. <coughs> Excuse me. So then we'll echo all three of them. And again, never do this, but always sanitize your input. But this is how it looks. Don't do that. So this is our text box. This is our text area. And when we submit, we have the Heidi, we have the text box, and we have the text area. Now, if we move this up to the top, just one last consideration of showing you how you can integrate this kind of stuff into a real website. Um, if you didn't want to echo it right away, you just have this at the top, um, and you set the value of these things, we'll, and then we'll just insert our PHP tags into the text area and the text one. And so then we'll just echo pvar2 right into the value, so this means whatever we submit, it comes back on there. Um, and actually, let's just switch them just for the fun of it. So the text area will be whatever was in the text box, and the text box will be whatever was in the, the text area. Or no, this is the hidden, isn't it? We'll get rid of that hidden, because you can't see it. So we'll put whatever was in the text area into the text box, and whatever was in the text box into the text area. And if nothing gets put in there, then these are just blank. Um, you shouldn't use variables like this if you're not sure they're going to be declared. Um, but that's a whole other can of worms. PHP will still let you. It'll just give you a little warning if you're on strict mode. So just something to be aware of. But for this example, it's fine. Oh. So let's upload this and play around with it a bit. So when we first go, this is the text box, this is the text area, and we submit, it'll load, and oh, they're switched now. And then they'll switch and they'll switch back and forth. And that's just kind of a pointless example, but you know, it's something you can do with with PHP. Um, and really, that'll give you a pretty good basis. First five, five or six episodes, I'm not sure. Um, but that'll get you a long, long way in PHP, and the rest you can pretty much look up on on the internet. Um, so from here on out, it's going to start getting a little more complicated. Thanks for sticking with me this far. Hope it's been helpful. And uh, if it has, let me know in a comment or a like. All right, thanks. See ya.